It appears there's a competition between two states for jobs connected to the wind energy industry. Mark Murphy, the editor of the Providence Business News, joins us this noon hour with more on that. There's a story about that in this week's edition of the newspaper. We've got Quonset Point in Rhode Island, that New Bedford Marine Terminal, which I think is still under construction. Yes. Uh, and those are the two places that are fighting for the jobs? Yes, they are. And the, and the reason that this came into focus is that Cape Wind, which is the you know, the, the large wind energy project off, uh, you know, in Nantucket Sound, which has been generating a lot of opposition in addition to moving forward, has just signed an option to lease some land at Quonset Point as a staging and, and construction ground for the project. Now, uh, Deepwater Wind has also signed an option, in a, you know, to lease land. They're not really doing anything just yet. For its for both the Block Island, uh, you know, demonstration project, the five turbine project, and its projected 200 turbine project out in federal waters between uh, Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Now, as far as Cape Wind, the the uh, numbers are uh, interesting uh, because they've they've already they're already paying the Quonset Industrial Park money just to hold some parcels of land right. for them. We have a list about that. They say they could create 50 to 100 jobs. Uh, $4,833 a month just to reserve the space. If they actually use the space, they'll pay Quants at $229,000 a year. All these numbers are out of your newspaper article. Yeah, and, they, and then, so there's, there's land away from the, from the port, and then there's actually some, uh, a few acres right on the, you know, that are on the port itself. So clearly they'd, they'd stage stuff, they'd put it together, they'd put it on a barge and take it out. Now, I know when, when it comes to creating jobs, it's, uh, you know, it's... Uh, Anything's fair, right? Rhode Island wants the jobs. Massachusetts wants the jobs. New Bedford's building this terminal. I guess they want some of these jobs too. Well, the state is is spending a hundred million dollars on the on a marine terminal in the New Bedford Harbor, and with the absolute expectation that this is where Cape Wind is going to be doing it. So, it's unclear from what we know so far whether Cape Wind is just sort of uh, covering its bases or whether they just feel like they're going to be so big that they need extra space. Unclear, but. Uh, on the other hand, Deepwater hasn't signed up with New Bedford. They've only signed on, you know, at Quonset. Now, here is a list of uh, the jobs that could be created. These are the kinds of jobs we're talking about. About 800 for Deepwater Wind, uh, 400 for Cape Wind. These are direct jobs. Is that how it goes? Right. That's right. Employed by them. In fact, Deepwater, the number about 800 is actually specified in the contract they have with the state when they, you know, in signing the, the option for the lease for the land uh, uh, down at Quonset. And uh, uh, Deepwater, Cape Wind says that they could have between 600 to 1,000 total jobs. So that's direct and also the, the ones that are support, you know, that other industries, suppliers, vendors, all the rest of it. There's much more about all of this in today's Providence Business News. Mark Murphy, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Frank.